the upset um, that is throughout the room this morning and that what can happen if uh, these cases of uh, are, are not deemed a homicide and very early on it can be called a suicide or an accident or an overdose and then there's no investigation and so I think that the the issue of someone found in a dumpster deemed an overdose or somebody who has been dismembered and found uh, deemed natural causes that these are horrific stories that mean that 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 there is is really no no uh, trust in a, a justice system that won't follow up these kinds of, of cases and uh, and so I think more than any other place we've been in Canada the need to reopen some of these cases was uh, a very resounding um, message uh, today as you know we we've committed that we're not going to wait um, for the results of an inquiry to get going on the things that we know we need and Minister Hyju's department is working very hard on the issues around shelter, my department on housing, other departments on things like victim support and uh, this whole issue of, uh, of navigating a justice system and the need for victim support um, I think was uh, very, very, uh, very, very clear this, this morning. I think um the actions have to be implementable and there has to be a commitment across all levels of government to implement them because not all of them will land at the federal responsibility table. Some of them will be provincial, some of them will be municipal, some of them will be within communities themselves in terms of how to make their own communities more functional and safe. So it will really be something that we'll all need to work on as a country and the actions have to be practical and implementable. So from my perspective having written policy before with numerous actions, part of that is the commitment to continue coordinating those actions and having an, a mechanism to review how we're doing and making sure that we have accountability measures, data, as Minister Bennett said, what is changing over the years, what are the targets that we're reaching, and how will we know that actually what we've put into place is going to make a difference in a year, in five years, in ten years. How do we hold all levels of government accountable for, for the implementation? We certainly heard very strongly from the UN representatives that Barbara Bailey at CEDAW that that she is watching very carefully whether Canada will be carrying out the recommendations that her report um, um, brought forward uh, in in recent times. So it's not only all of us. We know if we can keep Canadians with us um, on this journey, it'll be pretty hard to leave a report on a shelf. Um, that's that's what we're trying to do is bring Canadians with us but we also know the international community is watching us mm -hmm. and that we actually have will have no um, no you know you can run but you can't hide mm -hmm. we, we are going to have to be accountable and we look forward to that to being accountable for actually putting in place it's what it said in the platform put in place the concrete actions that will actually stop this tragedy